Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought and word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Thanks be to God. I collect. Gracious God, whose love for the world is revealed in your Son, our Saviour, grant that he may live in our hearts by faith and be proclaimed in our lives by love. To the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be glory and praise now and for ever. Amen. Say together, Gloria, glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Reading from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 22, uh, beginning to read at verse 34, the greatest commandment. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Thanks be to God. Love your neighbour as yourself. I wonder how you're getting on with the new laws and guidance and restrictions and ways in which we are told to live, advised to live, encouraged to be. How do you get on wearing your face covering? Do you find it uh, just steaming up your glasses or irritating uh, your nose that you just kind of want to keep moving it and itching? And how you just long to be able to see in full people's faces. I'm sure that you are all following good guidance. I'm going to take this off now because actually one of the exemptions, one of the few exemptions I have uh, at this time as a leader of worship is that I don't need to wear a face covering uh, when I'm speaking. And yet, we know that we are doing this not only because the Lord has told us to, but rather because it is something that will bring us some sense of safety at the moment and keep others near us safe also. We are obeying the law and the guidance. 
and it's not always easy. Jesus, uh, he's been tested on his knowledge of the law, his understanding of the scriptures as were written to that time, how those had been interpreted over time, and is uh, being challenged as to how it is that he is saying things which might appear to be at variance to the law and accepted practices, especially around uh, his um, encouragement to be alongside those who were considered to be outside of society uh, at that time. Jesus finds himself not only with Sadducees, but then in front of the Pharisees who truly did know the law, the commandments, the law of Moses, and all that was in the Torah. Uh, they knew it deeply and in great detail. And a lawyer, it is a lawyer who asks him the question, teacher, which is the greatest commandment, which is the most important law? to keep. Jesus is not daunted. He simply responds by repeating the first commandment that you should love the Lord your God with all your soul, with all your heart and with all your mind. This being the first and the greatest commandment. And then he goes on to add another and a new one. Love your neighbour as yourself. My friends, just at this time, we are being enc encouraged to follow ever changing new laws, new ways of being. We may know the family and friends who are finding that they can't quite meet in the way they were able to just 48 hours ago, can't just go to the places that they once were enjoying in some sense of freedom, that shops are closed and bars and restaurants are no longer available, that even their places of worship, well, their doors are closed just this day. We know that sometimes we just simply have to follow the law, not only because it is the absolutely the right thing to do, it is our citizen's duty to follow the law, but because it is for our own safety and our own well-being. And yet I am ever mindful in following the law, in keeping a good practice in the way in which we are keeping buildings open or not, how we are allowing some groups to recommence or not, how we are finding worship in very different circumstances and formats. That in order to keep the law, we sometimes are seemingly just simply always trying to hide behind a mask. I want to encourage you that as much as it is right to do all of these proper things, to make good care for yourself, in order that others will also be safe from a pandemic, that in so following a law, we don't lose that second commandment, to love your neighbor as yourself. For truly we are finding it very hard to maintain the conduct tax that once we had, to just uh, gather uh, collections for food banks and then take them down and, and just be easily accepted. But food banks are still needed and still are open. We find it difficult to run uh, a, pa a street pastoring service, although there are still people on the streets and in great need. We are approaching a winter season when already there are tents emerging around uh, hedgerows and shrubs, even on school lane and close to our churches and places of worship. And we know people are sleeping rough overnight, now in the darkest of winters and the wettest of evenings. 
how do we continue to love our neighbor when we can't shake their hands or put our arms around them or get so near as to really have a conversation in a sense of privacy we shouldn't lose heart or give up we need to know when we need to be safe and when it's sometimes just about okay to find fresh ways of engaging with people and in conversation that is safe and still of Christ. For if all we do is follow the law and the commandments of Moses, then we are denying the presence of Christ within us and the Holy Spirit working also. For as Paul writes, as in Adam all shall die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. As we follow the commandments, so we are also set free at liberty to make choices. To make choices in the spirit of Christ, to be as neighbour, to offer a handshake of welcome and friendship. And maybe never more so are those signs of our caring needed. Those people who we know, who, for whom now being at home is becoming a very long and painful process. For those, as we contemplate Black Lives Matter and Black History Month, have encountered prejudice over many years and are still reeling from that. As a church, we had longed to start a deep conversation about how we might change our practices and well ways of being and find that we're not as easily able to do so when we can't meet and see each other and talk. But my friends, I encourage you not only to follow good COVID guidance and certainly the commandments, but also to recall that we are called to care for our neighbour and to do so as Christ in this world and this time and to do so to shine light where light is needed, to offer warmth where warmth is needed, to show love where love is needed and to do so willingly and in confidence for Christ is our way, our truth and the life. Amen. We're now going to sing a hymn that reflects those words and new commandments I give unto you. <laughs> 